Welcome to another episode from Hackology and I'm more than happy to say tonight we're probably going to start doing the best series of videos Hackology has done today. Um, we're going to start looking at electronics. Uh, you will need some things for this video. We're going to jump right in. We're going to get started right now. Okay, so you'll need some hard disk magnets. You will need some wire. You will need some little chocolate blocks or um, connectors or solder. You will also need a um, transformer. Take apart a transformer and keep all the components from in there. You'll find something like this that has two coils on it. Um, keep them both because we'll, we'll use them both eventually. Um, keep anything that looks like a capacitor or a diode and resistors. A little bit of Technic Lego or possibly some, uh, possibly a bike or some kind of wheel that spins round so you can spin your magnets pretty fast. <clears throat> Step one is acquire magnets because magnets are critical to the next four videos. You can find magnets pretty much anywhere. Uh, you can find circular ones that contain four magnets that are north, south, inside uh, uh, PC cooling fans. You can also find magnets like these inside old hard disks. I will show you how to take the magnets uh, apart because this is what happens when you don't do it properly. And this is what happens when you do it properly and you can take the whole magnet off. And I'll show you how to do that in this video. Um, so lots and lots of magnets. Those are hard disk magnets, circular magnets from fans. These magnets were taken from the pickups, and they're pretty bloody strong, uh, from an old guitar. You can also find them in any sort of motor um, or generator. Okay, so let's start. First off, you're going to need your coil, dismantle your power adapter, take apart the uh, take take the coil out, and then what you're going to need to do is oh, you need an LED as well. LED is pretty critical to this video. So, magnets, got magnets. Once you've got magnets and you've got plenty of magnets, you'll need to build a flywheel of some sort. Now, if you acquired your magnets from a hard disk drive, you should have something like this, which spins pretty well, but I've got no way of turning it at the moment. I thought about driving it off a little DC motor. So what I've got here is my flywheel, which is pretty shoddily put together. And all I've done is arrange the magnets in the flywheel with equally sized magnets opposing one another. So basically, because there's one underneath there, and this one's different to that one, it won't sit properly on the top, so it's trying to push its way off. Okay, so arrange your magnets like this, space them equally so the wheel doesn't wobble uh, when you spin it fast, and stick them down well, because you'll be spinning the wheel fast. So there's a little close up on the, my hands are so grubby, let me show you with that one. So there's a little close up on the flywheel and all I've done is masking, I've, I've just stuck down the magnets with the masking tape. Now, magnets on a flywheel, awesome, Technic Lego this is. Uh, the next thing I did was to build a small gearbox, so if I turn this one slowly, this one really goes down. Okay, so build a gearbox. Here's a little close up of the, the one that I've built. Okay, gearbox. And once you've built your gearbox, you'll need to attach your flywheel, like so. So at the moment, I've got mine set up like this. 
slow that out slightly. So turn that one slow, that one goes pretty quick. And as you can see, the, it's, it's wobbling quite a bit because the magnets aren't well balanced on the wheel. So I think a few of them have slipped out. Place. So magnets, flywheel, gearbox. If your Excellent. coil's like this on a spool, what you're going to need to do is get rid of all this plastic. All the plastic that's surrounding the other spool, the, the actual spool of cable. And when you're doing this, just be really careful that you don't <laughs> the wires up going into the into the um, into the coil because we need to use those and uh, unless you want to unwind the coil and recoil it it's a lot of hassle but we will be doing some of that in a future episode so I'm just going to scrub this down I'm rushing because I'm on camera I should really slow down I'm pretty excited because I can't wait to show you this and get you guys down Okay, and don't damage the coils, so I'm just going to leave that as it is. Um, right, next you'll need some wire and you'll need to attach this to two of the contacts on the coil. Now, I don't know, but I think one of the cables has gone off the uh, it may not have been attached in the first place, comrades. So... Okay, so what I've done is taken one of the strands of wire from this power adapter, stripped the two ends on the wire, and I'm now going to fix the uh, wire to the coil from the transformer. And I'm going to do that by soldering them. Hopefully, I'll let you guys in on this. should just melt straight onto the component and not onto the soldering iron and you shouldn't be dragging the solder onto the um, cable it should just be flowing on there itself that's pretty hot <laughs> but there we have it there's our coil and hopefully now uh, we're not going to do a, a demo fail okay so be really careful when you take your transformer apart because you might damage the cables and that means that your alternator won't work and you won't be able to generate any, any electricity. So what I've done is this is a power supply. These are the two leads that went into the mains. And as you can see, they go off there into the coil. So I'm going to be really careful with this. I might even put some extra solid tape on it. And I've got a chocolate block and a LED plugged into the coil. And this here. A little bit more Technic Lego just to hold it. So I'm going to solitate this in place as close to the front as I possibly can. Okay, so here's the alternator with the LED. And let's just uh, turn this off. And I'm just going to spin the alternator. And hopefully. If I turn this up towards the camera, it 
so we've got the LED turning on and off. And you can give yourself a pat on the back, knowing full well you've just made an all your first alternator. And we're going to be working on developing this over the next few episodes. So try and get yourself one of these working. Right, that was AC power generation. I hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode of Hackology. We'll be doing some more really cool projects. This is the, like, the basis for the next few videos. Uh, so get making one and have fun hacking. Enjoy, we'll be back soon. Don't forget to check out theauthorist.com and peace. In, in quickly before we go comrades for the next video you will need a um, you'll need four diodes so if your power adapter has diodes in them those those little black things um, with a gray end on them uh, keep hold of those and also if there's a capacitor in there or you can get your hands on a capacitor that would be really cool because we'll be using that as well um, peace see you soon <laughs>